Well, our next talented kid is just 16 years old. He's a Canadian painter who fell in love with the arts after a trip to the Museum of Modern Art. Evan Sharma is joining us now from his family's home in Ontario, Canada. Tell me about this trip you took. You went to the MoMA in New York. You were 10 years old, and that kicked off this love of painting. What was that experience like for you? Yeah, for sure. So for me, it was really just like about seeing like these pieces like in the galleries and just seeing how people like interacted with them and the impressions that like the paintings left on people. And I thought that was just like a really powerful thing to be able to like give that like experience to somebody. Wow. So you're being called a prodigy. Do you feel pressure in any way? Um, I kind of just do what I really like to do, you know, and like People can say what they want um, about it, like whether it be good or bad, um, whatever. But, you know, I'm just like really sticking true to what I love to do. So, yeah. Oh, I love that. I love that. I, I, clearly, your parents have supported you in this because you have that conviction. Um, so much so that you actually created a powerful Black Lives Matter piece last year and you just released it after the death of George Floyd. How do you think that art um, factors into the conversation um, to spread awareness on racial injustice or any other social issue that sometimes I think people find difficult to even talk about, but then suddenly you see a piece of art that makes you think? Right, for sure. I think, like, art allows people to, like, understand, like, a lot of topics in kind of an easier manner um, that, like, you know, we really have, like, a hard time talking about in general. So I think it's, like, a great way to, like, start the conversation and get that ball rolling just because it can like be interpreted like so many different ways but like any way like it's like really mm -hmm. personal to the person i'd say so i think art's very good for like you know social movements and then as well a lot of my art focuses on like climate change um and i think it's really good just to spread awareness and have other people interpret what they want from the painting you're using your talent to raise money for several charities like United Way, your local hospital, and a charity that helps to support young artists in Ontario. You've even raised like $50,000 to have your art used in that way. That's phenomenal. Yeah, thank you. I think it's just honestly like part of the job description for it. I think like you really need to just give back to like the people who help you help to get you there um, and like just really help other kids because I'm like, you know, such a great position. Um, being 16 and being an artist. So I think I really need to just help other kids, like, help achieve, you know, their passions and everything. I love that. So you are finishing up the piece behind you, the painting behind you, that will be sold for charity. Yeah. Tell me a little bit more about it. Yeah, for sure. So I started this piece a month ago. Um, so we can see, like, the Statue of Liberty right here. And it's holding, like, the actual, like, flame of liberty right here. And I think that's, like, just really symbolic in a way because, you know, New York was like the epicenter for the pandemic. And I wanted to use this painting yeah. to raise funds um, for the relief. Um, and yeah, I think it's just a great way to like, you know, raise morale and everything in this situation. Now you're still working on it. I understand you got some finishing touches to do on the skyline. What, what, what more do you need to add to it? Sure, um, I'm just gonna like detail the buildings a bit. And I was actually gonna add in like a bit of like a climate change aspect as well which I thought was going to be interesting. So, yeah. And what artists have inspired you? Um, I would say, well, speaking from, like, the 20th century, I'd say, like, Basquiat, Andy Warhol. Um, ah. I've recently become, yeah. like, fan fascinated in uh, Francis Bacon. I, like, really like some of his stuff. And yeah. then, you know, just talking yeah. about, like, before, like, I really like Rembrandt. Um, and I tried to, like, you know, use some of, like, the lighting he studied in some of my pieces, um, kind of, like, in, like, a modern rendition of it. I love it. Well, listen, congratulations on not only being such a talented young man, but also having a great heart and a desire to use your talent and your gift for others. Thank you so much. Congratulations. And I can't wait to see once that piece is done. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you so much.